All right. Well, it does look like top rate top eight is ready to start. This is the twelve days of drafting with J Mats. Technically the second tournament, but it's day three because I mean it's a top eight. So it's another draft, and it is past midnight. It's actually Christmas Eve. So, let's see what we can do. Vast. None of what my deck really wants to do do I have in hand, although Fire Shrinker helps. It looks like we're both kind of in the same boat. I'm good. I would prefer hold off on the lasher until I have a cloak I could throw on him immediately. I think I could maybe go flesh grafter next turn. And then turn after that fire shrieker, equip fire shrieker. That's a possibility. We'll see what what I draw and what he does. I think I'll take the trade. He's not an artifact, so I don't need him for my uh, bonus, per se. And the nice thing about the grafter is his ability is not irrelevant. Especially sitting here holding three artifacts. That's a good question. If I do it, those two die. Or he could modular onto that one. I suppose we just do it and see what happens. Yeah, we'll do that. We don't really have that much, that many answers to flight. And I do have the Lost in Hopes that I could draw upon if need be. So here, I think I go soldier.
I mean, I could, I could equip the soldier. Well, I guess I give. There is no trick. I don't know why exactly he did that then. Um, this guy would give me a good deal if he's blocked. He can't be equipped. And Let's get this out. And then next turn, potentially be able to cast the lasher, put on the cloak, and go from there. And Guess we do it again. If you give me the option, I suppose I will. So if I can deal three a turn. Dude just kind of has to hold the ground. Should be able to attack with the team. Spell bomb if he wants. But he's not gaining that much with it. I guess if he bounce the ocean soldier, he can save two damage. I'm gonna have to keep swinging with the abomination. Soldier would really be the thing to go after, I suppose, because that would stop me from being able to block the abomination, but I must see it a little differently. So he can deal two. 
two on his own. He has to pay life to get anything beyond that. guys let's work out the wolf out also yeah at this point it's Two hits with the lasher. He attacks with all that. It'll be interesting to see what he has to play. Okay, so if I attack with the team, I suppose I don't even know what I'm going, what all the dangers I could be running into here are, but I should still have lethal. So now I don't quite. Uh, I do have a regenerating creature coming up. Can block and he has to deal nine this turn. Doubt he can get there. Especially since he can't pump his bats or anything of that sort. Alright. It's pretty close, but Whipper Silk on the Lasher was exactly what I needed. Um, I think I just go for it. I mean, if I won that time, why not? I think that's the first game I've ever won in the top eight. Still haven't won a match, but games worth something. And what did I not see? Like a flesh crafter certainly came in handy. If he hadn't kept attacking into it, I think he would have been better off. Terror really isn't very good against my deck. Which is nice, since I was probably a high pick of his. Kill four creatures. This isn't the greatest against Arcbound. All right. I got my combo. It's keepable. Probably Flesh Crafter again to start with. I 
going, going. Flesh crafter to cloak to lasher with the equip. Looks like I might have to pitch my hybrid to kill his abomination. I think it's worth it. Three, four that early is hard to deal with. Could be something said for that as well. I think we just go cloak. In. The chamber out later after I get the cloak on the lasher. And then I can start making artifact tokens. my chance. Did it. And yeah, I'll attack. Probably won't block. to spare. Awesome thing about it is that next turn that guy could potentially be let's see one, two, three, six, one. Hopefully it doesn't have any sort of uh, damage to all type of effects. Well, that's definitely what shuts down the party on my guys. That certainly puts it on a fairly short clock. Each creature and each player. Oh my. That is just killer. Whale of the Nim for the win. I guess it's still early. I didn't get anything out there and get them equipped. But wow, that was brutal. Truly brutal. Just might have been the luckiest pull I could have possibly gotten.
need the last what? Three turns probably. If I am drawing into anything. This is risky. Let's see whether it works. Alright. Now I just have to not die here. Make it one more turn. Whew. It's an interesting deck. But definitely a tense game. I guess if he can destroy any of my artifacts. He could burn my mirror or something. Get him another turn. So I think we attack and see. Yes. All right. I guess what's better than top eight? Top four. I don't know who. Emerald Dream is. Tom M is a channel fireball person, so I'll see you in round five.